Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all fine. Let's have a look at the breakout of Bitcoin. Finally, we are out of this um, tightening wedge and we broke out to the upside. As you can see, we have here a nice uh, breakout and we went straight up to the 3.8k area, which is always nice to see when we have like these big green candles like that. In, even if I'm shorting and I'm in the wrong side right now, um, always nice to see these kind of breakouts. Anyway, uh, we are right now in the weekend, so I am i don't take these uh, breakouts too serious on the weekend. Uh, because as you know, the future contracts, they are, they are stopped right now. And uh, as you can see here on this 30 minutes chart, uh, we stopped at 3,600 exactly. So, in my opinion, we are always uh, going back to this level, usually Sunday uh, evening or Monday. Uh, if not those days, then during the the week. Uh, this is what I'm seeing in the, in the most cases when we have a breakout on the weekend like this. And... Um, we even have some uh, uh, gaps, futures gaps here in this area, as well as here in this area that need to be filled. And uh, if we're going to stay in this area of 3,700, between 3,700 and 3,800 in, in this area here, um, we're going to create one huge big gap right here, same as we created over here. I think this is what well, was like two or three weeks ago uh, and you see we we stayed in this area for a bit and then we filled the gap so this is what I think it's gonna happen if we're gonna stay during the weekend in this area here maybe we go even further up who knows if we look at the chart we actually bounced the uh, uh, yeah in the 3.8 area which is yeah where we had this uh, consolidation time here and then another leg down it's the 0.5 Fibonacci area where we uh, bounce back so we probably move up uh, we'll be moving in this channel around here uh, I guess somewhere around here for the weekend if we're gonna stay in this area uh, I have um, very strong doubts that we're gonna go much higher in in opposite i i in my opinion we will stay in this area if not already go down today or maybe tomorrow just before monday starts um yeah we may maybe also create like a bard uh, pattern that's also possible we we're, we're not sure yet so no one knows so uh, you have to be ready for all scenarios that's why we never go all in as you know i'm shorting this um uh, I don't. I never go all in, so I could uh, dollar cost dollar cost average um, a bit the price. So I right now um, with my entry of three thousand six hundred seventy four is not too bad. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this open even if we're gonna drop back down uh, uh, in the three point six k area, um, unless. Uh, Unless we're reaching this area like on Monday and uh, and there is a chance that uh, we can really like spike back up or something like that. Uh, or we like dropping far below 3.6k during the weekend and create uh, uh, a gap to the upside with the futures contracts. Then I'm sure I'm going to close it right there and maybe look for a long if we drop below 3.6k through the weekend that's like my strat strategy for the weekend right now i have some uh, uh some uh, uh, sell orders like uh, to top up my short position a little bit uh, i think this weekend i'm gonna be a bit more aggressive than usual because i know the contracts are many but uh, i mean look at how much i have left uh yeah, it's not much i'm like half in almost 
So I'm gonna go a little bit aggressive right now because um, uh, the, you can make huge profits right now with this spike to the upside, which in my opinion it's more of a fake breakout or like a bar pattern created right now, this is the beginning. So I'm putting here um, very high, like around the 3.8k area, some more sell orders and and a big one just before liquidation, uh, just to be safe. We never know we could spike further up. So this is where you see my sell orders and here is my current position. So right now I'm gonna keep this for, this is like my strategy for the weekend. And uh, that's why I'm always saying never go all in, otherwise you will be never prepared for such uh, uh, such cases when it turns the other way around as I was expecting this to break to the downside but it broke now up to the upside this is typically for for a weekend um, everything goes the other way around than you think or yeah the shorts longs are still uh, still uh, more or less at the same area nothing changed here so we might see now taking some profits from the long side so Maybe some people are, were long and, and they want to exit, so uh, there's a high chance that they're going to take some profits and, and drop back down a little bit and then go up again or further down. Who knows? Anyway, you have to be prepared for any scenario. Uh, I'm I'm not feeling like uh, bad or something to be now on the wrong side uh, because, uh, yeah, as I said, uh, the weekend... Uh, Big price movements on the weekend I don't take too seriously. Um, that's why I'm going to take this chance that we have right now, this big spike up. And I was never expecting this to happen, especially not on the weekend. So I'm going to take this and short it back down to at least 3.6 if we reach. If we drop even below 3.6 during the weekend, I would close it and, and long from there uh, if you want to play this aggressively all right guys that's it for now uh have a nice weekend enjoy this breakout and see you all in the next one bye